2024 Jeep Wrangler First Drive Review, Luxurious Off-Road Freedom The iconic Wrangler gets more luxury and tech than ever before. But is it still a Jeep? Messing with an icon like the Jeep Wrangler can be tricky business. For 2024, Jeep wanted to make improvements, of course, but with such a devout fan base, it couldn't stray too far from the traditional formula. The 2024 Wrangler is the first major facelift of the JL generation. Jeep took this opportunity to add heavily requested features such as an integrated winch, power adjustable seats, and more. There are two new trim levels, Sport S and Rubicon X, technology and safety enhancements, livability improvements, an available Dana 44 HD full float for superior towing capability, and modernization of the iconic design. For engines, ranging from a turbocharged four-cylinder to a Hemi V8, mean there's something for every flavor of adventure enthusiast, too. Jeep invited us to Utah to experience the updated Wrangler in its home environment to find out if all the 2024 model year updates have improved an already capable off-roader. Exterior, many flavors of iconic. Jeep says there are 1,920 combinations of Wrangler, factoring in the door and roof configurations with the various trims and engines, but not including colors, wheels, and other accessories. In short, no two Wrangler builds are likely to be identical. Jeep still offers the traditional two-door Wrangler and the more practical four-door Wrangler Unlimited, the latter is the only way to get a Wrangler 4XE Hybrid or a Rubicon 392. The biggest changes for 2024 happen up front, where a revised 7-slot grille that first appeared on the 20th Anniversary Edition delivers superior engine cooling. And, for the first time ever, customers can add a worn winch to the bumper. Along with the new face, the Wrangler gets some new shoes, 10 new wheel designs ranging from 17 inches up to 20-inch bead locks. Those wheels can be wrapped in 32-inch tires standard, 33-inch tires on Willys and Rubicon, or 35-inch rubber with Extreme Reckon package. Ten colors are available, ranging from subtle hues like Silver Zenith to eye-searing yellows like High Velocity. We came away particularly enamored with Sarge Green, a military-inspired color that pays homage to the original Willys Jeep. Roof options include a soft top, black body color hard top, Sunrider for hard top, and a Sky One-Touch Power Top. Interior, finally luxurious? The Wrangler gets a major tech injection inside with a new, standard 12.3-inch touchscreen Aconnect 5 infotainment system. Unlike the old 8.4-inch Aconnect 4 system, this new one packs wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as Amazon Alexa integration. The system also gets a Jeep-specific trails off-road feature, which includes comprehensive guidance for 62 Jeep Badge of Honor off-road trails and 3,000-plus trails off-road trail guides as part of a subscription. It's not just more modern, the Wrangler is more luxurious for 2024. Wrangler customers can now opt for 12-way power front seats for the first time ever. Those seats can even be wrapped in Nappa leather. We had a chance to sample upper and lower trim levels, and even the latter still felt premium with high-quality cloth seats and matching cloth on the dashboard. This is easily the nicest Wrangler cabin Jeep has ever offered. Beyond the improvements you can see and touch, Jeep made other quality-of-life improvements in the form of additional foam around the windshield, acoustic front glass, and thicker carpeting. This is still a pretty loud cabin, but it's approximately 2 to 5 decibels quieter than the pre-facelift model. Powertrains, for unique hearts. The eco-diesel engine is sadly gone, but all other engines carry over into the 2024 model year. Jeep's tried-and-true 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 is the base engine, eking out 285 horsepower and 260 pound-foot of torque. It's far from a powerhouse, but it's the only engine to be mated to a 6-speed manual transmission, an 8-speed automatic is optional for $2,500. A 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine is available for no cost, not including the automatic transmission, and produces 270 horsepower and 295 pound-foot of torque. It may have less power on paper, but the Turbo 4 pot is a bit quicker than the V6 thanks to its healthy torque figure and low-end grunt. 
38% of all Wrangler sales come from the plug-in hybrid 4XE model, which pairs the 2.0-litre four-cylinder with an e-torque belt start generator motor contributing 44 horsepower and 39 pound-foot in total. The 4XE produces 375 horsepower and 470 pound-foot with a 17 kilowatt-hour battery that enables a 21-mile electric-only driving range. For 2024, Jeep improved the 4XE's energy regeneration under braking and added a 4XE power box that offers bi-directional charging to power external devices. At the top of the lineup, the Rubicon 392 returns with a 6.4-liter Hemi V8. This absolute monster of an engine roars to life with 470 horsepower and an equal amount of torque. Despite being an unaerodynamic brick, the 392 can rocket up to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds and burn an entire tanker's worth of fuel in the process. The environment will suffer, but the grin on your face will be ear to ear. Jeep would not confirm how long the Rubicon 392 will stick around in the lineup, but with the brand racing towards electrification, we have to imagine its days are numbered. Other hardware improvements include an available Dana 44 HD full float solid rear axle for the Rubicon models, which improves the towing capacity to 5,000 pounds. For different 4x4 systems enable varying levels of off-road capability, ranging from rugged to extremely rugged. The Wrangler boasts best-in-class water fording up to 34 inches, a 47.4 degree approach angle, 27.8 degree departure, 40.4 degree breakover, and 12.9 inches of ground clearance. Driving impressions, quieter on road. Don't worry, Jeep hasn't suddenly turned the Wrangler into a cushy mall crawler, this is still, for better or worse, a rugged vehicle. All of those sound deadening efforts result in a slightly calmer cabin, but there is still significant wind and tire noise at highway speeds. This is slightly alleviated in road-oriented trims like the Sport, Sport S, Sahara, and High Altitude, and Jeep even added seven microphones for the Bluetooth that double as noise cancellation mics and yield a 15 dB reduction in ambient noise on phone calls. Everything you loved about the Wrangler experience is still here. Unlike the Ford Bronco, which uses a more modern rack and pinion setup, the Wrangler soldiers on with recirculating ball steering. It's not the most precise system, but it offers light steering feel that's easy to negotiate off-road. The steering weight changes depending on the tire setup, skewing heavier on models with 35-inch rubber. Ride comfort-wise, the Wrangler's suspension leans on the firm side with large obstacles easily jolting occupants. That being said, there is so much suspension travel and tire sidewall that Wrangler owners will rarely need to mash the brakes over speed bumps. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.